The purpose of this video is to provide a high-level overview of IBM Controller Web version 10.3. We will first log on to Controller Web and open a project. Then we will examine how to populate data through the web interface and how to perform intercompany reconciliation. Next, we will look at how to create and modify journals and perform account reconciliation. Finally, we will examine how to review and submit data to lock it for further updates in Controller Web. Controller Web is a new component in version 10.3 of Controller. It is a web application designed for a reporting site user who needs to report for one or more subsidiaries into the group's financial consolidation. All configuration and maintenance will be done in the IBM Cognos Controller Rich Client. Let's begin by logging on to Controller Web. We will log on to the demo underscore web database as a user named Jenny. From this panel, we can adjust the settings, export a log file containing user actions, or log out of the system. From here, we can adjust the application language, the content language, and the date and number format used in the application. We can also choose to show the welcome screen when Controller Web first opens. Controller Web allows you to report for one or more subsidiaries into the group's financial consolidation. The setting up and administration is done in the IBM Cognos Controller Rich Client. To perform reporting site tasks in Controller Web, you must open a project on the landing page, select a company and a submission that you want to work on, populate the forms with data, reconcile intercompany transactions, manage the journals, check the account reconciliation, review your data, and submit your data. Let's now take a closer look at projects. From the landing page, you can choose to work with the currently open projects or all projects. You can also search for a particular project using the search field. Let's look at the 2015-12 Actuals project. You can view all of the companies available to you or select a specific company for which you want to do the submission. We will view all companies for now. Next, you can click a submission that you want to work on. The status of the submission is indicated by an icon. If the submission has a lock icon, then you can unlock, depending on your rights, the submission by clicking the lock icon. At the bottom of the screen, the calendar shows the deadlines for the submissions. Let's open one of the submissions for one of the companies. The submission opens. IBM Controller Web uses visual indicators for the status of forms, journals, intercompany reconciliation, and account reconciliation. The different steps in the flow are indicated with warnings on the corresponding tab as soon as there is an action necessary. Mandatory actions are displayed in red, and non-mandatory actions are displayed in yellow. For example, the yellow icon with the number 2 on the intercompany tab indicates that there are two intercompany differences. A light gray icon with a number means a neutral status, such as not applicable. IBM Controller Web shows the important submission dates in the calendar ribbon. Submission dates are set in the IBM Cognos Controller Rich Client. When you click a milestone in the calendar, the details of the submission are displayed. Now let's look at how to populate data using IBM Controller Web. You can enter period values manually or transfer them automatically using a file from an external system. You can use your forms to enter data in Controller Web with some limitations. The forms are still created and maintained in the IBM Cognos Controller Rich Client. For more information, consult the user guide for Controller Web. You can select a form into which you want to enter data. Enter values, intercompany values, and comments 
and all relevant cells, and then click Save to save your changes. A green indicator in a cell means that you can add a comment. A yellow indicator means that a comment has been entered. If the account is an intercompany account, the cell will have a blue marker. In IBM Controller Web, you can import data from external systems, for example, accounting systems. You can import Microsoft Excel spreadsheets and text files. From the Populate tab, you can also see the status of forms. In this example, there are four forms in total. Three have a status of reported, and one has a status of missing. You can change the status from missing to not applicable, or from not applicable to missing. Now let's look at intercompany reconciliation. With intercompany reconciliation in IBM Controller Web, you can reconcile transactions between a company and all the counter companies where intercompany transactions exist. The purpose of intercompany reconciliation is to provide a quick way of tracing differences before consolidation calculations are performed. Amounts in the respective local reporting currencies are translated into your reporting local currency using the currency rates that have been entered for the period and IBM Cognos controller. The initial view is meant to give an overview of all the differences you have to deal with. There is one record for each combination of counterpart and category. The largest difference is at the start of the list. All categories and all journal types are included. As soon as numbers affecting your reconciliation are changed, for example, your counterpart changes values, then Controller Web updates to reflect the change. Here is a transaction involving the 2510 Cognos Midwest Incorporated counterpart. The My Transactions area shows all existing transactions that are reported by your company and that are included in the calculation of the selected difference. The Counterpart Transactions section shows all existing transactions that are reported by other group companies with your company as counterpart and that are included in the calculation of the selected difference. Amounts and other currencies are translated into your local currency. The Difference section shows the difference between My Transactions and Counterpart Transactions. Now let's look at how to perform intercompany reconciliation. To change your intercompany transactions, click the three dots and select a data entry form. The forms available for data entry are determined by the settings of the current submission, which is defined in the Define Submission window in the IBM Cognos Controller Rich Client. Available forms also depend on user rights and linked structures that may have been defined. With the form open, you can enter values, intercompany values, and comments in all relevant cells with the buttons on the toolbar. If you want to save the data from this submission in a spreadsheet, click Export Data. Click Save to save your changes. Now let's look at using journals to correct and adapt your reported data. Journal types are defined in the IBM Cognos Controller Rich Client. They can be set to read or write mode depending on the user rights settings. Here we can see the journals for the current period. Here we can see an existing journal. From this window you can view and update the debit and credit amounts for each account. You can also add and delete accounts. Click the Post Journal button to save your changes and post the journal. You can also delete the journal from this window. Now let's look at how to add a journal in IBM Controller Web. Note that journals are posted in local currency only and that all web journals get the copy rule T, temporary, by default. In addition, journals and columns are not supported. From this window, you add the accounts that you want to adjust in the journal, as well as the debit and credit amounts for each account. You can also add a description for the journal. Click Post Journal to save changes and post the journal. Now let's look at account reconciliation. Account reconciliation helps you find any differences that must be fixed before completing the reporting to the submission. Reconciliation is necessary if you want to check that entered and imported values are correct. If the reconciliation is completed without errors, 
you can update the status of the company in IBM Controller Web. On the Reconciliation tab, you can quickly see if there are any reconciliation differences over the accepted limit, how many there are, and of what type. The reconciliation is done according to the rules that are set up in the account structure in IBM Cognos Controller. It consists of three categories, debit credit, between accounts, and opening balances. The option Set Status for Submission to Ready after Reconciliation from IBM Cognos Controller is not supported in Controller Web. You must actively submit your company to get a status of ready. In the debit credit category for this application, we can see that there is a difference of 500. Here we can see that there is a difference of 500 between the net income for the year and net income accounts. From the Reconciliation Details screen, you can click an account or an amount to navigate directly to a data entry form that contains the account. When numbers that affect your reconciliation are changed, the data on the Reconciliation tab updates to reflect that. For example, a change may have been made by importing or manually updating data. Now let's look at how to review your company's balances in IBM Controller Web. To review your company's balances, you can create reports. Reports provide basic reporting and analysis for a reporting site in IBM Controller Web. You can use reports to check the numbers before submitting them to the group. You can create new reports or view existing reports. Here we see an existing report. Report definitions are saved per user. Before we can view the content of the report, we have to select values from the filters. Now we can view the report. The rows in the report are based on one selected data entry form. From this screen, we can export the report to Microsoft Excel. We can also select different filter criteria before rerunning the report. Let's look at how to create a new report. In this screen, you define the properties of the report, such as its name. You can add, duplicate, and delete columns as necessary. When you are finished, click the Save As New button in the bottom right corner. Now let's look at how to submit data from IBM Controller Web. On the Submit tab, you can click the Submit button to complete your reporting and lock your data for further updates in IBM Controller Web. Before you can submit your reporting in IBM Cognos Controller, you must ensure that no data entry forms have a status of missing. In addition, Account reconciliation must show no differences over the accepted limit. Finally, all previous submissions for the period must have been reconciled correctly. If these conditions are not met, the Submit button will be grayed out. In this video, we have examined IBM Controller Web 10.3 at a high level. We first logged on to Controller Web and opened a project. Then we examined how to populate data through the web interface, and how to perform intercompany reconciliation. Next, we looked at how to create and modify journals and perform account reconciliation. Finally, we examined how to review and submit data to lock it for further updates in Controller Web.